When plumbers tell you to flush your water heater, there's a reason why. And today, that's what we're gonna talk about. This video is sponsored by Leak Pro. Go check out leak-pro.com. Uncovering the secrets of a 30-year-old water heater. Well, it's almost 30 years old. We've got water heaters here. How old was this one? We've got a gas water heater here that's six years old, an electric that's 18 years old, and another gas that is almost 30 years old. We're gonna cut them open and see what's on the inside of them. Now, first of all, look, it's all about doing things safe. Now, if you've ever cut open a water heater to see what's inside, I wanna know what did you think? Was it as bad as you thought or was it a lot better than you thought? Because I've looked inside the top of some of these and they're not very good. One of my favorite things is the mono goggle. Guys, if you're ever gonna cut anything like this, whether it's out in the field, whether it's in a shop, whether it's under somebody's kitchen sink, I highly recommend getting a set of goggles that preferably aren't too scratched up. These kind of look a little rough right now. But make sure you get a pair of goggles that also protects your face. I love the mono goggle because it has a goggle and a shield. So you can use the goggle and you can pop off the shield if you just want the goggles. But still, this is good enough that if I'm looking down here working, I don't have to worry about it. And PPE is a big deal. Hey, Squirt, man, I, look, you know where the safety equipment is? I mean, I've got the mono goggle. Yeah. I've got some gloves. Uh, I've got some safety glasses. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got work to do. I need to go get on a computer. I got to jump on a call. I got to do something. Uh, uh, oh, okay, just, okay. Cut, cut, open, cut open all three of them. Okay. I want to see what's inside of them and see how bad each one of them are. Okay. So we've got six-year-old gas, 18-year-old electric, and this one here is almost 30 years old. Ooh, okay. that's pretty old. So I want to see what we got inside. I want to be real careful, not drop them, bounce them around, shake anything loose. That way we can cut them open and see what all's inside. Okay. I want to look inside. I'm just going to cut it in half. I'm good with that. Hi, I'm just going to cut them in half. I'm good with that. Then we can kind of just, open them up like, peel a, it back like, just like a, a beer can. Like a can, just crack it open. All right, I like it. Oh, you're gonna pop we got fitter this. it. You're gonna pop fitter. Oh yeah, I got safety glasses. Oh, I got. Yeah, but when I you go gloves. to cutting, be careful. Be careful. Yeah. I, I, okay. When I get I, the Metabo, we'll get. We got right. this, guys. No, we. Let's I'm gonna go knock out my stuff while, while you take care. You of have this. fun working. I'm gonna get to work. Oh, well, I appreciate it. I crack into the interior knot. All right, so, well, as you can tell, Squirt's got them all cut loose. Let's set them up on the table and take a look at them and see what they look like. Now, if you look at the inside of this, it actually doesn't look too bad here. Now, the anode rod, believe it or not, actually in pretty good shape. This doesn't look too bad, but remember this one here, this one here is only six years old. The anode rod may have been replaced, I'm not sure. The cold water inlet tube, you've got some assembly there on the bottom, it kind of makes it spray out, which is gonna help keep the bottom of it clean. You've got your flue right here in the middle to carry the exhaust gases up. So this is actually what the inside of your gas water heater looks like. And let's look at the electric one. Again, not too bad. You've got a lot of sediment up in there. This probably hasn't been flushed as many times as it should have been done. You wanna to try to flush a water heater, whether it's gas or electric, at least every year, once a year. That's gonna help you clean out all the sediment in the bottom. And we're gonna come over here in a second and look at how much sediment's in the bottom of them. And I gotta tell you, it's kind of freaking nasty. Y'all ready for the old dog? Not me, the water heater. Oh my gosh. What the what? All right. Almost 30 years old. I guess that's what you get. Come here, buddy. All right, now, other than the crickets, 
I mean, look, look at this. You can see your TMP valve up here, your cold water inlet tube coming down here to the bottom. It's kind of loose up top, may have lost a little bit of water. Uh, anode rod is completely gone. You come over and look at this one, we're looking at 18 years old. The anode rod is just down to the size of a wire. Your heating elements don't look too bad. Got, got a lot of buildup on them, but nothing crazy. Dip tube still in one good piece. Got a lot of rust around the inside of the tank and up at the hot water outlet. And then you look at this one, six years old, anode rod. Yeah, it's got a lot of buildup on it, starting to deteriorate. Your cold water inlet tube looks good all the way down. Man, there you go, buddy. Now you're on top of the world. Let's start with the newer one. There's, there's a little bit of buildup in here, a little bit of sludge in here. And then the 18 year, I mean, look at all that. Okay. That's just one scoop right there in the bottom of an 18 year old water heater. Now, we saw that the anode rod was completely gone. Well, there's what's left of it. I mean, guys, that's just one handful of the crud that is in the bottom of a water heater. This is what happens when you don't flush them. And think about that. If you've ever been in a shower and you know, rinsed your mouth out with the warm water, well, it went through all that. Now, it's just calcium and magnesium. I get it, that's not that big a deal. But come on guys, for the efficiency of your water heater, you've got to heat up every bit of this before it ever gets up to heating the water in your tank. Do me a favor, take care of your water heaters. From the time you install a water heater, you should flush it once a year, every year. We've got videos about that that'll show you how to do it as a homeowner. Or if you don't want to do it, call a plumber, but let them come out and do it. Also, to be really smart, change your anode rod after the first year that way, it'll help extend the life of your water here. This video was sponsored by Leak Pro, leak-pro.com. If you're a plumbing company owner or you're a plumber and you wanna learn how to improve your skills, your services, the value you bring to your customers each and every day, go to leak-pro.com, check out the training, check out the equipment, and it'll help you take care of your customers better. So if you got good value out of this, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. And if you know anybody that has a water heater, you might wanna share this with them.